Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. It is Sunday the 18th of July and as usual early on a Sunday morning I'm on my way to work and also as usual it's super quiet at this time of the morning in Blackpool. I'm at the bottom of Westmoreland Avenue right now. As you can see walking down the middle of the road which is fine for this bit because there's nobody about and you can't drive down this bit of the road anyway so there's not going to be anything driving down here I'm at the very bottom of Westmoreland Avenue you can see there it's been railing off now for many years but I do remember when you could drive straight through here now we've got this little junction over to the left we've got Queen Victoria Road and running through left and right is Central Drive cars there, there's one car there, one car there going past. Just gonna wait for them to go. Now I can go right across the road. But the site there many years ago that used to be the Mecca or Tiffany's as people called it or also the Commonwealth Sporting Centre. It went by all those names. I remember as a kid going to discos in there. I think they had a under 16s disco once or twice. But also when it was Commonwealth Sporting Centre, I used to go there on a Thursday afternoon. And we would go and play squash and racquetball. Well, we actually went there with our school for our Thursday afternoon PE lesson and we were supposed to play squash but some of us were too badly coordinated to play squash so we were given the option to play racquetball and of course I was one of those because I couldn't play squash but racquetball was fun there used to be a big wedding shop as well on the ground floor but anyway let's carry on to work now Street and walking down now with Salt House Avenue. Over on the left is the Bingo 3000 development that's either been halted or abandoned, I'm not sure which. It looks pretty abandoned, although it is covered in what looks like a giant tarp or plastic. So the partially built steelworks is definitely being protected from the elements so maybe they're planning on finishing it one day but at the moment oh, noisy seagulls I haven't seen any activity down here for a long while you can see the back of the site there all of the machinery has been moved off the site and also looks like all the building supplies everything looks like it's been moved off there you can see the build from the back there you can see the side of the Odeon there is Salt House Avenue that curls around there and heads back onto Central Drive but for now I'm heading down Kent Road. I am just trying to find different routes to work. I mean, it's all basically the same route, but now and again, I'll try to just meander down a different street so you get to see different things. And you will have already noticed that yesterday I actually managed to get a video of my cats and garden out 
I made sure I filmed it throughout the week so it would be ready to upload for Saturday because I always end up super tired on a Saturday because for weekends I only work really short hours in the mornings but when I come home I am so completely tired out I just want to sleep it's like I'm completely tired to the point where I can't even think and my eyes are just closing got the old central club here a little bit of, I don't know what you'd call that, spare ground, waste ground probably big enough for a small house although I don't know yeah so yesterday when I came in from work because I got up super early, went to work came home it's around half one when I got home maybe a little bit later I don't really recall and I had a little bit of dinner but I really wasn't very hungry and I decided I would just chill and relax for the afternoon and sit on my computer and watch a few shows on Netflix but I kind of just fell asleep on my computer chair not completely asleep you know when you're really tired and you just find yourself nodding off and your eyes are sort of semi-closing well that was like me yesterday how I just sat at my computer chair and I kept feeling myself nodding off and then waking up again and I don't know I'd actually don't like that feeling I'd either rather be super awake and doing stuff or I'd rather be properly asleep in my bed I don't like that semi awake and semi asleep feeling because you feel like you're not doing anything and you also feel like you're not getting any rest at least that's how I feel but anyway today is a new day so when I get home today even if I'm tired I'm going to at least try and spend half an hour or so editing so I get some stuff ready And it's another gorgeous day today. I mean, yesterday was the hottest day I've ever known. I'm not saying it was the hottest day ever. I'm just saying from my perspective, it was the hottest day that... Well, I can't remember a hotter day, put it that way. And a part of me just wanted to go down to the beach, but I suspect the beach would have been really, really busy. And like I said, I was just too tired. Well, anyway... Let's just walk to the end of Kent Road because I remember when I did Kent Road for the Streets of Blackpool series a while back I actually turned down there or did I turn down Bethesda Road? Yeah I think I turned down the next one I turned down Bethesda Road and I missed the end of the street I don't know how I ended up doing that but I did it and a few people mentioned it in the comments that I just missed the last bit of the street off so today we're going to get to see the whole street yeah that's where I turned off last time I turned off down Bethesda Road and onto K Street there you can see the little park there used to be a little church or church hall down there and there was also a little church building I think in the car park on the opposite side I've mentioned it before because I remember very very vaguely remember there used to be a graveyard except I'm not entirely sure I remember the graveyard I remember the whole structure being all fenced off in keep out signs must have been very very little at the time and my mum's saying yeah it's a graveyard they're moving the graveyard oh, noisy hello oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to fly on my head then and that's not even Barry 
Oh, good grief, go away. <laughs> he scared me then. <laughs> I don't know how much of that you got on the video, but I think that seagull thought I had food. Or he thought, he thought I was an enemy and wanted to take me out of the picture. I totally lost my train of thought then and where I was going. Yeah, just talking, I vaguely sort of remember there was a graveyard there, but really that was before my time. And now we're at the end of Kent Road. So this time, folks, we did get to the end. Kent Road finishes on Chapel Street. And there is Central Drive. There you can see the King Edward VII. There you can see the tower in all its glory. That is a great view of the tower. And we're going to go down Chapel Street this way and head on to the prom. There you can see the old Bonnie Street Police Station. I really can't believe that seagull kind of dive bombed me on the way to work. I don't know how it'll look in the video, but in reality, it swoops right down. It seemed kind of angry too. And I actually like the seagulls as well. I still like the seagulls. But anyway, let's head up a silent Chapel Street. There's one or two people about, really not that many at all. I do like these Sunday morning walks, they're really fun. Because you know, fun doesn't have to be like exciting fun or roller coaster fun or party fun. Fun can be a quiet walk. And this kind of makes up for the fact that I didn't really get out yesterday. And also, I'm on my old, old camera today. So if the sound sounds a little bit different, that's the reason why. The camera that I use regularly is my old Canon one. This one is actually the same, exact same model because I bought this one, the one I'm using now, a few years ago and I bought it second hand and I used it for a fair old while and it was kind of getting temperamental because this camera right now, it's on its last legs. It turns itself off sometimes and sometimes it doesn't record properly. So I'm hoping you'll get to see this video. And then, some people donated some money to my Kofi account towards a new camera and I happened to see in a second hand shop a model exactly like this one except it was in far better condition and it had far less usage so that was great so I bought it and they also thank you so much to all the kind people who donated to my Kofi I bought about five new batteries because Every vlogger knows that batteries is the thing, you, batteries run out really, really fast, especially if you're using an older camera like me. So I always like to have backup batteries and they also got a few memory cards as well. So I totally restocked my batteries and my memory cards. We've just walked past now Dale Street and Bonnie Street, but both of them are already on the streets of Blackpool series. And oh my gosh, the sea looks absolutely gorgeous today. Looks like it's all the way in, although I can't really tell from here. But yeah, it's pretty much all the way in. I am going to go across the prom and finish this video looking right at the beach and giving you folks a beautiful view of the sea and I am going to vlog my entire walk to work today provided this old camera holds up 
because the reason I've got my old camera is when I came home from work yesterday I'm pretty sure I left my jacket with my regular camera at work so that's the thing I did I'm hoping it's at work I can't find it anywhere at home but I don't think I've left I didn't go in any shops yesterday so I haven't left it anywhere so I'm hoping my jacket and my camera are indeed at work I feel like kind of I keep distracting myself this morning but I'm really tired didn't get a lot of sleep last night at all hardly got any sleep and yeah basically that's it I actually came down at around quarter to four this morning so yeah not a lot of sleep because I went to bed after midnight so look at that wow a lot of seaweed there that's been brought in by the tide look lots lot of seaweed quite a few people on the beach they look like they absolutely wonderful and dedicated litter people a beach cleanup crew that's better you can see a few people with bags and litter picking sticks and i say this almost every time i walk past but they do an amazing job when people like me get to walk down here and say how beautiful the beach looks it's because these folks are getting up early in the morning and tidying things up so we can all enjoy it there's the deck chairs that you can hire now I remember when I was younger there were hundreds of deck chairs just rows like that all set up all along this part of the Golden Mile also I very very vaguely remember lots of boats let me know if you remember that in the comments there used to be loads of boats lined up down here because when the old prom was here there used to be a ramp I mean there's still a ramp there now but the old lifeboat house was right next to the pier we can all remember that but when I was little I do remember lots and lots of boats lined up here and I'm not entirely sure that they were here they could have been a bit further down to where the tower is but they were definitely around this area well anyway you've got your view of the sea and the sand and the beach so I am going to finish this video now so once again thank you so much for watching please 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 hit the like button please subscribe maybe even leave me a comment come and say hi on twitter at like 29 and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you all again in the next video goodbye